Not at all. Two. One, two. <laughs> up the Anderson case. Now, the uh, Nevins accident. Did you... What? what? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just... It's just high. It's beyond ugly. It's... It's from Claire. The woman is sick. Matt, help her. She's not sick. She's a little colorblind, maybe, but she's not sick. Listen, can we hurry up here, please? Billy's coming over. We're going to go play racquetball. I want to shower and shampoo at the gym before we play. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to shampoo and shower before you play? Yeah. Why? Said I, I really don't think it matters when I shampoo and shower. <laughs> that, that's stupid. So you're calling me stupid? Oh, let me think. Yes. <laughs> but I like to look good and feel good before I play racquetball. Is that a crime? No, no, it's not a crime. It's just dumb. That's your personal opinion. No, I think most of the planet Earth would agree with me on this one. <laughs> Can we move on, please? Wait a second. Just one more question. When you go swimming, do you shampoo and, and shower? And shower first? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. What's wrong with that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> sorry. No, you're not. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> you should be. Why? Because you spend half your life toweling off? <laughs> you know what? Let's spend the entire evening talking about my personal hygiene. Can we do that? Uh, okay, look, Matt, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I know I've only known you a few months, but I think I get it. I mean, you're obviously one of those picky, finicky, please don't smoke in here, wipe your feet, don't touch my car type people, right? Why? Let me touch my car? <laughs> yeah, Matt, they broke in and stole it, but don't worry, they showered first. <laughs> You, you make fun of me because I happen to be a clean person. You're not clean. You're insane. I'm insane. I'm insane. Look at this apartment, Sydney. It looks like the inside of a stomach. <laughs> God. I like my apartment just the way it is. I'm happy here. Anything else? Yes. What? The Nevins accident report. Did you get a witness statement? Yes, I got a witness statement. Oh, oh, um, that Carter surveillance tape. Did the old man come back yet? No. Wait, are you still getting all those weird offers for that videotape? Yes, like crazy. You? Yeah. So what's the deal? I don't know. Somehow word got out that you made the video. All I can figure is that somehow you taped somebody you shouldn't have coming out of the hotel with old man Carter's wife. Sydney, I got offered $125,000 for that videotape this morning. Wow. That's a lot of shampoo. Shampoo. Very <laughs> I'm sorry. But I know I've seen that face before. The guy with Mrs. Carter... I just don't know where I've seen him. You just keep that cassette in a safe place till the old man gets back in town, okay? It's safe. I'm serious. This is my serious face here. And a very clean one. Very clean one. <laughs> Sid. Hey, Sid. Well, if it ain't freaking crap. Lad and Vic. Shut up. What do you guys want? All right, where's that cassette, huh? Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Hey, hey, hey! Shut up! Are you all right? <laughs> All right, Keating, cough it up. I think I just did. Hey, you guys never hit. What are you hitting for, Vlad? Oh, well, what was it? Your breath. Vlad, go suck on a search or something, would you? I told you to buy search. <laughs> I did, I did. Maybe it was that garlic bread you Shut were. up. Come on, Keating. I want that tape and I want it now. All right, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you gentlemen to leave. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm all right. Look, Keating. Hey, maybe it was the anchovy. Hey, shut up, huh? <laughs> Keating, I'm not kidding. I want it and I want it now. Did you leave him alone? He doesn't have it. I got it, okay? Well, what are they going to do? Hit me? He's right, Vlad. Shut up. A lot of hostility, Vlad. A lot of hostility. So, what's your next move? Uh, I don't know. Uh, do it. Do what? I don't know. Slug her or something. <laughs> you do it. 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 You're bigger. Hey, hey what are you doing on the phone there? <laughs> 
phone. Yo, say what? Hey, Laverne and Shirley, how you doing? Hey, it's Vlad and Vic. Shut up, hi. Huh? Hey, Bill. Hey, Matt, that is a sensational tie, man. <laughs> you all right? Did somebody hit you? Why did you hit him? Did you hit him? A little. The boys are just leaving now, weren't you? Yeah, all right, Clint. Take a walk. Let's go. Yeah, I thought we were going to search your apartment. What are you, stupid, huh? Take a look at this place. Somebody already did. <laughs> Talk about rude. Why doesn't Laverne get some binaca? My eyes are watering here. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Matt, what about you? Are you all right? I'm fine. Could you look for a spleen, please? <laughs> Would you please be careful with that video cassette, yeah. Sid? Cassette? What cassette, Sid? Help me out here. Feeling alone. Feeling foolish. Feeling left out. Get used to it. <laughs> Was that a shot? Did she just take a shot? You just took a shot. Why? Why not? Why me? Because you're easy. I'm just guessing. <laughs> hey, hey Ray. Sid. You got that 200 bucks you owe me? Thanks. Thanks. Stop it. Thank you. Stop it. <laughs> Stop what? Is it me or are they doing that? <laughs> doing what? <laughs> Hey, Sid. Hey, Perry. Nice shirt. Mm-hmm. How are you? Good. Good. How's Calvin? My cat's fine. Good. Perry, you want to cut to the chase already? Because I don't like small talk, and you're like the world's worst conversationalist. That hurts, Sid. Deeply. On behalf of somebody, and I can't say who. Actually, I don't know who. I'm just a little man. Just a, a middle man. Just a little middle man, Perry. Sid. Who... You want to make me an offer for a certain cassette I've got? Uh-huh. Not interested. But, Sid, these people are prepared to go $175,000 cash, tax-free, plus dinner for two at any restaurant of your choice in the world. And I suppose they'll throw in a set of solid gold Ginzu steak knives if I say yes? That could work. Not for me. No. How about I throw in this shirt? No. I'll wash it. No. Hey, can you tell it? Go away. <laughs> Blue collar. Yeah, she's right here. Hang on. Good to you. Sid, I could really use a nice new set of steak knives. Think about it. I'm thinking you'd look real good in Perry's shirt. Yeah, but let's face it. He won't wash it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mr. Queen, how's his clean? I'm serious, Sid. These guys will do anything to get their hands on that cassette. Trust no one. Suspect everyone. Sid? Sydney. Oh, sorry. God, Cliff, I never thought I'd see you again. Well, I knew I'd see you again someday. Stop. What? Well, stop with the soap opera delivery and the meaningful looks. I mean, come on. I mean, I've known you since the third grade, and you always get so melodramatic. Thank you, Sydney. Guys, I thought we were over. Right. We were. I mean, we agreed to disagree, right? Yes. You didn't want to move in, so I moved on. What do you mean, were? I made a mistake. I mean, I blew it. I'm an idiot. I mean, I'm sorry if I hurt you. Well, you didn't hurt me. You just about killed me, that's all. I mean, I was really bummed when we broke up, Cliff. Same old Sydney. Same old arm. What are you doing here? I mean, why now? Why, why today? Why this week? After... Five years, four weeks, and two days? Stop it! Are you kidding? Anyway, it's five years, four weeks, and two days. How's Monica? Monica? Yeah, you remember Monica, I'm so frigid, Lanahan? <laughs> Come on, don't play dumb. I mean, I know you started seeing her after we broke Give up. Give me a break, Sydney. That was over before it started. It was strictly sex. Is she still... Like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this is the part where I say good, and you say great, and I say why, and you say because it's so incredible to see me again, and I say ditto. I mean, I even remember the smell of your hair, and then you start to kiss me like a madman. Yeah. Good. 
Grace. Why? Because it is incredible to see you again. Ditto. <sighs> Don't you remember the smell of my hair? No. It's pro. Oh, sorry. What is it with guys with shampoo lately? I mean, what is this, like a new femur? Sydney? Wait, where are you going? Sid. What? What? Marry me. What? He proposed? Yeah, can you believe that? Did he do it? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! I love it when you talk dirty. I'm just going to ignore that. Yes, but could you ignore this? <laughs> I know it seems awfully fast, but you and I both know that you have always loved Cleo. You know, I remember he gave you your first real romantic kiss in junior high. He forced that Terry cough drop coated tongue of his right down your throat. Come on, chill, chill, chill. I'm eating here. Oh, and you listen to me, Sidney Lister Tales. You say yes, and then you march that buddy yours down that aisle. That man is gorgeous. <laughs> I know. But I don't know. I mean, this is very really awful sudden. It really was kind of neat. I mean, I don't want to sound like Barbie or anything. But Cliff the Kendall really swept you off your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Come on, no, see, no. the guy is a loser. Always was, always will be. Billy, you are such a maniac. No guy is good enough for me. Is that it? Basically. Why? Is that a problem? If I want to have kids, yeah. So what stops? Be a single mom. Be Bonnie Frank. <laughs> oh, come on. I will teach the kid how to catch and play cards. I'll even show him how to shave. You do, and he'll bleed to death. All right, all right. So I cut myself off. So we'll go electric. Look, Sid, the point is, stay solo. This guy Cliff is a bum. He is not. The man is a jock. The guy's IQ is below room temperature. Hi, right, Billy. Now, you should be glad for your sister. All right, Sidney, let's talk wedding and flowers. Now, I'm thinking pink. Now, I know you hate pink, but I don't mean powder pink. I mean salmon pink. It's the Jill, new thing. Jill, Jill, Jill. Before you start putting me on the cover of Modern Bride, just slow down a minute, okay? I mean, I'm not so sure about this whole deal. Cliff is so serious. You know, I mean, I, I gotta get used to him again. I mean, Cliff and I haven't even... Slept together? Sure you have. Billy! What? Yeah. They've done it. So? Wait a minute. I was talking about before, when you guys were a couple. You mean this guy just blows into town and you immediately hop in the sack with him? Sid, I'm disappointed in you. Seriously. Oh, right, Billy. I, I forgot. You're my brother and my mother. And don't you forget it. <laughs> I do not need you running my life. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Every sister needs a brother, Sid. And I want you to take advantage of Billy's concern for you. He loves you. He's an open nerve, but he loves you. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You owe me. When it comes to men, you definitely need adult supervision. Oh, Lot, you're an adult. Was that a shot? Just curious. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Paranoid, for your information, not that I need to tell you anything, by the way, but just to get you off my back, since Cliff has been in town, no, I haven't slept with him. Good. Yes. Not good. Billy, what is your problem? Really? Oh, sure. Gang up on the young guy. But let me just ask you one quick question. Don't you think it's a little bit odd that Cliff the Kendall shows up now, this week, when you're going through all this weirdness with this crazy cassette? Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> so, Billy, you're crazy, you know that? I mean, what? I'm not good enough, huh? What guy is going to fly 3,000 miles to see stupid old Sid and propose just like that after five years? Is that it? Exactly. Thanks a lot, Billy. Come on, Sid. For all you know, this guy's scamming you. Don't be so naive. You said so yourself. This cassette's worth over 100 grand. Billy, stop! You know, you're really starting to pug me. Don't you think I thought about that? Of course I thought about that. Don't you think I'm thinking that every day? You don't think that, do you? No way. Well, I don't think that either. But you know what? You for thinking that, you're a butthead. That's Mr. Butthead to you, Missy. I'm going. Where? To see Cliff. Do you mind? Yes, I think so. Too bad. Fine. Fine. Sit. What? Do not sleep with him. First of all, I don't have to tell you anything. Second of all, let me just tell you something, okay? <laughs> when I broke up with Cliff, I swore to myself if I ever found myself in bed with him again that I'd scream, okay? You happy? Thrill. <laughs> I love it when we fight. You are such a brat, Billy. And you adore that side of me. You find it sexy, admit it. You're saying to yourself right now, ooh, that Billy, what a sexy brat he is. <laughs> what if she marries him? I'm really worried about that. Bill, Bill, slow down there a sec. May I make a suggestion? Let Sid find out for herself, Cliff's a loser. Women always find out you're a loser. Sometimes it happens on hello. 
But never me. Yeah, but she's man. This guy proposed. So what? I proposed three, four, five hundred times. When it comes to love, I wrote the book, babe, and nobody makes a difference but the people playing. End of story. Besides, Sid will never marry this guy. Not while I'm still available. <laughs> well, thanks for the pep talk, cheese man. You are a frightening, frightening man. <laughs> Did take a marriage proposal? I want in. How much? You don't pay her. You ask her. Forget it, pal. You're way out of your league. For your information, women find me incredibly... Bizarre. Desirable. <laughs> Why is he laughing? <laughs> Besides, if Sid would marry me just temporarily, I'd get that cassette, get a divorce, sell to the highest bidder and retire to Miami Beach. Then I'd get really tan and get all the cute shit. Possibly. But I doubt it. Pessimist. What do you mean bizarre? <laughs> what? Well, Now Anne has the Queen's okay to divorce her common husband. But according to the papers, there's a catch. The Queen wants Anne to promise never to remarry. The royal couple has been married 15 years, they're officially separated. What? Oh, hi. 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 I'm sorry. It's okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. Could, why are you here in, in my bed? Uh, you fell asleep. So I thought it would be nice if we slept together. We just slept together. Oh, I guess I'd remember if we had. Hopefully. <laughs> all right. I've been good. I haven't mentioned it all night. I'm going to mention it now. Have you thought about what we, uh. about what I, uh. you know? Yeah. Constantly. I can't stop thinking about it. You, me, us. Don't say another word. I know exactly what you're going to ask me. The answer is yes. Yes, of course, I will move here if you marry me. I mean, think about it, Sydney. I can open up my restaurant almost anywhere. Mm, that's not it. That's not it. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, what is it? This. Is this why you're here? Huh? Is this... Why you're here? I mean, this radio cassette. I mean, because if it is, you got to tell me. I mean, if you've come all this way just to play with my feelings, I mean, my future, just to get your hands on some stupid little video cassette, well, you can have it. Here, it's yours. It's cold. Watch it. Wait a minute. Do you think that I'm... that I... That, that, that I would do that? For this? For that stupid case you were talking about? Well, you tell me. Oh, shit. Sydney, you have changed. You're, you're, you're jaded. Do you suspect me? This is great, Steve. This is first class. I fly 3,000 miles to rearrange my life back to the way it used to be, and you accuse me of using you for this video sickle? You're so paranoid, it's sad. You know that? Wait, wait, no, I'm not accusing you. Really, I, I'm, well, maybe just a little, but, 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 but what? Oh, Sydney, I forgot why you make such a great private investigator, because you don't trust anybody. Because you're incapable of trusting anybody. Tell me something. Isn't it hard to be a little Miss Downer all the time? Cliff, this is great. Don't Get you see? Me. Don't you see? I mean, now you don't want the cassette, so we can... We can what? Huh? What? You know something? I don't think you know what we can do, because you don't know what you're doing. All right. You know where I'm staying. i got to get back to the hotel. i got to fight at 1 o'clock. i got to check out by midnight. You want to talk to me? You want to talk to me about marriage? Fine. Because I do. I mean, I did. Oh, what the hell? Call. Don't call. Show on your fingers. I don't give a damn. Just don't accuse me of being a criminal because the only thing I'm guilty of is loving you. Say? Yeah? You love me? Always have, always will. I don't believe you. <laughs> and in regard to the aforementioned monies, please use your discretion as per our discussion on 12-16 of this year. <laughs> Hope all is well. Love to the family. Hope everything is okay. Just sign it, uh, Matthew Keating. Uh, sign it, Matt. Oh, what the hell? Sign it, your loving son. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the blushing bride. I'm sorry, the sulking, depressed, really bummed blushing bride. Go ahead, give me sit, sitting on Mr. Benedict. The case. Don't oh, sit on the case. Steve, you are so... Stiff, I know. I heard. Huh? Eh, it was a big client lunch today. One of the partners came up to me, told me I was stiff during dessert. Do you think I'm stiff? 
Hey, no, I'm up tight. I got this horrible laugh. Listen to this. <laughs> what is that? Is that a laugh? Is that a cough? What the hell is that? Hey, we all got problems. I'm stiff. I'm Mr. Stiff. I'm Mr. Broomstick, yes, baby. Yes, listen to me. Am I so out there that I don't even know when somebody loves me, huh? I mean, am I jaded? Oh, Matt, tell me I'm not jaded. You tell me I'm not stiff, I'll tell you you're not jaded. <laughs> no, nah, it won't work. We both be lying. Oh, I'm jaded. Oh, I'm jaded. Why? Why am I so suspicious of everybody? I'm Matt, you really, I'm sorry. I mean, I even thought Cliff was here asking to marry him all because he wanted that stupid little video cassette. He did? No. Oh. I mean, part of me wants to believe that Billy's the one that put that seed in my head. Oh. But all along, I was thinking, I mean, this guy couldn't want me. Oh. I mean, he wants something. You know what he wanted? What? Me. Oh. Will you stop doing that? What? Oh. Oh, oh yes. sorry. <laughs> sorry. He's waiting for me to call him. I mean, if... If I don't call him before midnight, he's, uh, checking out. Of the hotel? Of my life. Oh. All right. I mean, we've had some pretty good times while he's in here, too. You know, but we just... I don't know. We just don't seem to have the same laugh that we used to have. Not like... You and me. Yeah. For example. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, uh... Two minutes to twelve if you want to use my phone. You know, give him a call. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. No. Oh! Uh... See, here's the deal, Matt. I mean, if Cliff had asked me to marry him five years ago, I, I'd have been there, you know? No contest. I mean, sure, you get the hunks, the house, the kids, the white picket fence, the whole Megillah, you know? But things change. I mean, things change a lot. I mean, Cliff says that I don't trust people, but I do. I mean, deep down, I really, really do. It's me that I don't trust. My feelings. And my feeling is I want to grab Cliff and I want to hold on to him and, and not even think about it, you know? But then I start thinking, <laughs> is that it? Cliff, you know? I mean, he's, he's great and everything, but he's not exactly anyone to prove, you know what I'm saying? And but then I start thinking, hey, you know, who's, who's perfect, right? I mean, what do you want, Sydney? What is your problem? Now, just call him or don't call him. Sydney, yes or Sydney, no? Do you want to use my phone? No. Good. I mean, uh, it's good if you don't want to. Uh, that's good. Wait a minute. Am I nuts or are you like mm, just slightly glad that I'm not calling Chris? Well, he, he did sound like a real stiff. LaPelle! LaPelle! Joey LaPelle's Marzetti! That's the guy with Mrs. Carter in the video! No, no, no! Joey Marzetti's been dead for years! No, 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 no! Joey is alive! Don't you remember? Don't you remember he left his wife after that Vegas scam in 85? And she was going to sue him up the wazoo? So now, now he shows up with Mrs. Carter, and he, I mean, I know, he scammed major insurance bucks by faking his own death. I'd go after Joey. No. Yes. Yes. I'd go after Joey Marzetti. You can't. That's his right. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice <laughs> shampoo. What is that, Matt? Prell? <laughs> yeah, how'd you know that? I always get Prell. <laughs> <laughs> If you like to laugh, this is the place to be, because CBS has two new comedies on Friday nights. Whoopi Goldberg and Gene Stapleton star in Baghdad Cafe, based on the hit movie. Right after that, Sugar and Spice, two girls who rarely see eye to eye. Laughter with Sugar and Spice, right after Baghdad Cafe, Friday on CBS.